Welcome! I'm back with a new pro match breakdown for you guys. This time I'm giving you 6 tips from the CC vs Barrage game that was played on the 23rd of March 2017 as part of the year 2 season 1 pro league. This is 6 tips from the maps Border and Chalet that you can start using to win more matches. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe here below so you don't miss any of my upcoming Rainbow Six Siege guides and pro match breakdowns. So, let's get right into the tip number one. For Sisu to hold, they've got double mirror windows inside the trophy room here. One looking into kitchen and one looking of course into west main. And they clearly have a plan with those two mirrors in the trophy room. They are ready for that take coming into the site. They just have to be able to hold well enough. Gortek pushing forward, has to fork his back and now he'll fall to Wilkie. Polo has dropped, picked up the diffuser, gets a good kill onto Wilkie. But Boonsie's on the other side of that wall for an easy free mirror kill. New map, new mirror strat. This was Sisu. They have both these reinforced. They have one mirror here to keep an eye on the stairs. Then over here, they had his reinforced mirror on it and this was open. So they can play it like this, just go out and shoot them. So they covered A with this. And they actually got some pretty nice kills from here. So the only downside you have here is of course this window. If this get open, they can shoot out this. So you need to keep an eye and, and try to defend that. They are reading this play, they know it's going to happen because they've set up Cantor Akedi directly to counter that so that whoever rotates in or out of bathroom and they have to rotate in and out of bathroom because they've castled off their doorway, they can't rotate otherwise, um, or actually I guess it's broken now. Oh, Cantor Akedi with a pick onto through that rotation. Yeah, onto Polo who tried to rotate back through the Valkyrie when he was pushed away from the window by that Montaigne. Whoa! Next up is a spot inside Master Bathroom. They have open up rotation sold here and they have one more here. So you can sit inside the bathroom and hold all the way towards office if they come through here. This is how it looks for the attackers when they're coming in. You see back there, basically. So they create a long line of sight, which is always good. But CISO's counter on this was even better. Because they went up here to the rage tower. And he was sitting here. So this way he can control the door. Control the rotation hole. So this way both both people are sitting up in the bathroom and the bedroom were trapped. They cannot get past him without getting shot, kill, and even if they manage to escape, he could still report them in. So he single handedly pinned down two of the defenders and see cut them totally off from the other guys. That's why perhaps we don't see it from Sisu, but at the same time, it makes you think, alright, well if that's the happening, why are you consistently this is playing in CCTV? Now, they have been very destructive so far, so he may have the trap. So this is a really nice play that they did twice in this game. You go ahead to the detention, open up this big hole. And just as the round starts, you see you align your side here, and next to the barbed wire over there, and you throw. And you will land on top of this. You and as you see, if you're on you ground level, it's very hard to see. So you, you almost have to be up there to see it. And what this hole does, you see the cam. So you have a perfect view because this is the wall that they will repel on and try to shoot in towards armory. I will show you. If All you right, so now we're up here outside armory. Here you can usually find attackers repelling, both to climb up, but also to hang here and shoot while repelling towards the sides and then with that's where you have down here your hole because with that camera you can see when they are coming and as soon as you see that everything is clear you just pop out and shoot them down and even if you don't use this hole for example in this round you did not use the hole but just having this hole here controlled area leave now and knowing that you have a Valkyrie they will be. If you remain in this zone, they will not want to use this repel. They will be very scared of it. And if they do, they will need to invest one guy holding and protecting that. So it's a very nice play, even if you're not going to use it, just to take away some options from the attackers. Keep them out instead. They're just holding firm for now, making sure they wait until they have absolute positive information. Chate though is once again playing down below. He had that pre-play C4 uh, Claymore, of course, last time around. 
And here's one doing that, two waiting down there himself for that rotate underneath this time. So another reason that Polo hasn't gone yet. And through offices, Jugger has nothing to stop this Montaigne. No, this time they did drone to make sure there was no bandit behind him, so Montaigne gets straight on in. They drop down through the trapdoor again. This time, though, no Claymore to take them out. So Quantic gets below, but Shate was there to manually kill him off instead. So they are into a 4v4. So this was a play I really enjoyed. They have the Montaigne pushing here. And Jaeger, in this case, had to use his drop because usually the defenders have these two drops open so they can, they can escape. So Jaeger gets pushed, he drops down, the workshop, and what they had here was they had a guy playing down in workshop. You can see in some rounds he usually had a claymore under one of the drop downs. He also played there, so when they dropped, when he got the information that they dropped, he came in and picked them off. So you got plenty kills down here. And there's two reasons why you should control the server room and workshop as an attacker on this map. Because when, when going after this objective, if they have Pulse down here, scamming and will see through you for a C4 on the roof, you can't get the plant down. If Pulse can dominate down here, you will not get the plant down. So this fills two functions. You remove the, the threat from Pulse down here, and you can also get some easy kills when they don't expect it when they use the drop downs. So very smart play here. Are they going to go for an A-take, something we haven't seen very much with Montaigne? Well, here's what we need to watch again. So what we saw is we saw... So when holding Armory, they did two mirror placements that I find interesting. They put one here to watch B, the main site. They usually come in try to plant right there. Of course, they could have shot it out from here. But the benefit of having that window was greater than the, the risk of it getting it open. And even if this window is open, it's still great cover for, for someone holding B. So, And then they put one reinforcement here, the one closest to the wall. That's because when they're out of the balcony here, if this one would have been open, they could have shot out the window and shooting the guy standing at the window easily. And the other mira they placed here, of course it was all reinforced. So you have one guy standing here watching balcony and one here watching towards B in the mirror. I, I, I'm really wondering, this is I think the test of Barrage. Are they going to be able to read that though? Are they going to know that that's what they need to do? And it looks like Buck might be the player to be doing that. He's setting himself underneath. I think he's just trying to get people out of uh, CCTV though. Yeah, he's just checking the predictable spots in CCTV, making some holes behind the desk and making some holes in spots where you're used to players sitting. It was very close to Wilkie for a moment, who is now heartbeat censoring Thompson. Usually you will find some uh, defenders up here in security room or monitors. They will often play behind here. In this case, for example, you have Pulse trying to control when people are coming up here on the balcony. And what they did to counter this, as you see I've pre-opened some holes here. He started to shoot through the floor around here to get some holes open. Either one, get lucky and catch someone sitting there or to at least open it like this so they don't feel comfortable sitting here on top of this so they will have to move so I will show you where this is down here in detention this is where he opened it they can also do it here if they're on this side so opening this up is very good when trying to attack the armor because you usually have the fender sitting here behind here that's it for this time, I will soon be back with a new video so don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss that.